So yeah. can we talk a little bit about this uh, this delightful story about the Ar Arbili who gets um, nominated for council um, or the consulate? Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about who this character is and yeah. what happens. So this is Najib Arbili, the same man who started the newspaper. Okay. And he had a law degree from the University of uh, from Maryville College. And in those days, you didn't have to go to law school. You could get a law degree um, just by going to undergraduate school, which is what he did. He was said to speak 16 languages. It's probably an exaggeration, but he certainly spoke many languages. And you can tell this is his handwriting on the front and the back of this photograph. He wrote very well. He wrote beautiful English. Um, his handwriting was beautiful. So he was very smart and very accomplished. Um, he came when he was nine years old, so he had most of his schooling in the United States. He decided that he wanted to be the consul, a consul in a Middle Eastern country. And he was, um, you know, he was 20 years old. He was 21 years old when he decided this. He orchestrated his nomination to be consul. First, he tried to be consul to Egypt, but the president named someone else to be consul before he got his foot in the door. What year are we talking about? So he went um, He went to Jerusalem in 1885, so it must have, been, so probably the his effort to be in, the, he, and he graduated in 1884. So he, the, in 1884 was the year that he tried to be consul to Egypt and he was, shut out by someone else but in 1885 he moved to washington dc this is the amazing part before his older brother abraham moved there he moved there by himself he stayed in a hotel he gave performances orientalist performances so he could make himself known he got as he called it the entire tennessee delegation that means the two senators all the congressmen from tennessee to write him letters of recommendation. And he indeed got the nomination from Congress and from the President of the United States to be consul to Jerusalem. And, and, then, and it was announced in every newspaper in the United States that he had been elected to this post. Then he went to Jerusalem and he found out that the Ottoman government would not recognize his American citizenship and would not accept him as the con American consul to Jerusalem. And this battle was fought at the highest levels of the American government and the Ottoman government. The, the ambassador to Constantinople, to Istanbul, you can read his letters to the, his counterpart in the Ot Ottoman government and the man in the State Department in the United States trying to say that Arbili was a legitimate American citizen, he had done as a naturalization, and that he should be accredited in Jerusalem. But the Ottoman government refused to budge because they considered him still an Ottoman citizen.